Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with a new PB&J video. And today's video is a quick tip and it is quick tips featuring framing scooter. And no, we're not framing scooter for anything <laughs> bad, but some unique ways to use frames with your cards using our new scooter stamps. Now, if you aren't familiar with our Stamping with Scooter collection, I'll put a link down in the YouTube description box below where you can check out the catalog. This release is inspired by a real life penny black fur baby and a portion of the proceeds of these stamps will be donated to rescues with the goals of helping senior dogs find loving homes. Now if you've gotten your scooter stamps or you're looking to purchase them you might be wondering or looking for ways to use them on your cards. So I wanted to share with you in this quick video some ways to use them with frames. Now this is our first die set. This is our stitch square and circles die set. Here's a look at it in real life and I just wanted to show you what you get with this die set. I love all the different options and things that you can create with it and it works really great with these scooter stamps. So basically if you run this through your die cutting machine you can cut a square with the stitching around it or you can add these circular portions to the inside run it through at the same time and you will create a circu circular frame inside of that square which gives you the purpose perfect place to house Scooter and her friends and different images from these stamp sets. With this you also get a lot of variety of circular dies which you can then use the circular pieces on a card. So here's a look at how I have used these. Now what's fun is once you've created your frame element you can create a scene inside of the circle. You can even back the circle like here I've layered just one of our die cuts um, behind the circle for some extra texture and added some of the scooter stamps in front. And here I've even popped in the hedgy within that frame and added a chat bubble for the sentiment. And like I said, the circular portions can also be used on their own. So here's a couple of cards where I'm using the circle, circle that this cuts from the center of the frame to create cards. So there's lots of different ways that you can use that die set with these new scooter stamps. Now another type of frame and die cut set that you may like is our, grab it here, it's stitched circles die set. Now what these are going to do is create a frame with the stitching on the outside. So you can see here when you run this through your die cutting machine it's going to leave the stitching on the outside of the frame right close to that edge which is just a really fun effect. And if you look here this die set has lots of different variety of stitching looks all that work great with the scooter stamps. So you just put that on your paper run it through your die cutting machine and when it comes out you have this great stitched frame. And here you can see a card that I've made using that. I did some inking inside of the circular portion the behind that sort of frame. And then I layered the scooter stamp just right in front of it. And you could create a whole series of cards like this, just putting different stamped images and colors inside of the frame. Now next up is our hexagon frames die. This is also a very fun die to work with, die set to work with, and I'll give you a look at it just a little bit more close up. What's really fun with this one is not only will it cut the outer hexagon piece, but it will cut some tiny hexagon frames as well. You can see there my very fancy way of storing <laughs> all of my dies. I just keep them in regular old envelopes, and then if I have extra pieces, or sometimes I just sit down and die cut lots of extra pieces from white, I store them right inside there, and I just simply write the name and number of the die set on the outside. So this die set comes with lots of sizes. I'm just showing you here on a four and a quarter by five and a half standard card. You just put that through your die cutting machine and what's going to come out is you're going to get that hexagon frame but you're also going to get this small little frame and I've just colored mine so you can see it here. Um, that will fit perfectly inside of there. So you can use that right on a card itself. There's lots of different things you can do with it. But I really love to give this an inlay look. So you can go ahead and color it and then I just flip over that, inlay it inside and use regular old scotch tape to just tape around the edges. Then I can pop up this frame using foam squares and layer either my scooter stamps inside the frame like they're peeking out almost like a window or right on top of it. 
and I love that effect of that inlay when you put it onto your card. So here is a set of cards that I've created using this technique. Now before I added that inlay effect I added some sponging and some stamping to those backgrounds. So you can see what fun it is and then you have the perfect place for your little cute scooter to go. And again, you can make a whole set of cards using the scooter stamps using this, just this one frame die, a background stamp, and some different sentiments in there. Now one more die that's really fun, this is our ribbon stackers. This works in a similar way as the hexagon frames where you can do an inlay effect if you want. On my card I chose not to, but I love that unique shape that you get. So I've um, just inked behind that, sort of behind the window, and added our pennant die. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. If you're looking for longer videos with more detailed explanations, check out our YouTube channel. We have those too. And you can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website, and blog. And they're all linked down below in the description box. And we thank you so much for watching, and we thank you for making a difference with our Stamping with Scooter line of stamps.